that binds the pelting of this pitiless storm. How shall your houseless heads and unfenced eyes, your loops and windows raggedness defend you from seasons such as these? Now out 
blood from my blood. He sought my life, but lately, very late. I loved him, friend. No father, a son, dearer. True to tell thee the grief has graced my wishes. Knights, this. I do beseech your grace. Pray you mercy, sir. Noble philosopher, your company. It's a cold. In fellow there, into the hovel. Come, Lord. Let's in all. This way, my lord. With him, I'll keep still with my philosopher. My lord, <laughs> so let, let him take us home. Take him, you all. Sarah, Sarah, you come forth. Go with us. Come, good Athenian. <coughs> no words, no words. I will have my revenge, ere I depart his house. How, my lord, I may be censured, that nature thus gives way to loyalty. Something fears me to think of. I now perceive it was not altogether your brother's evil disposition, man of but a provoking merit set to work by a reprovable badness in himself. How malicious is my fortune, that I must repent to be just. This is the letter he spoke of which approves my father an intelligent party to the advantages of France. Paul heaven said his treasons were not, or not I, the detective. Go with me to the Duchess. The matter of this paper be certain, you have mighty business in hand. True, false, it hath made thee Earl of lust. Seek out where thy father is, that he may be written for our apprehension. I will lay trust upon thee, and thou shalt find a dear father in my life. Here is better than the open air. Take it thankfully. I will piece out the comfort with what addition I can. I will not be long from you. All the power dismissed, even way to his impatience. To God's reward you for your kindness. Take his part so much it mars my counterfeiting. 
Entertain for one of my hundred. Only I do not like the fashion of your garments. <laughs> you will say they are Persian. <laughs> but let them be shaped. Good, my lord. Lie down and rest a while. Make no noise! Make no noise! Draw the curtain. We'll go to supper in the morning. Good friend, I pray thee, take him in thy arms. I will prefer the plot of death upon him. Drive towards Dover, friend, where thou shalt meet both welcome and protection. Take up thy master. If thou shouldst dally half an hour, his life with thine, and all who offer to defend him stand in assurance. Loss. Take up, take up. Oppressed nature sleeps. This rest might get a balm thy broken sinews, which if convenience will not allow, stand in hard care. Uh, uh. No! Oh, no! I'm helped away there, Master. Thou must not be left behind. Come. Come away! How light and portable my pain seems now. That which makes me bend makes the king bow. He childed as I fathered. Tom away. Look behind noises and thyself be ready. When whose false opinion and wrong thoughts defile thee? In thy just proof repeals and reconciles thee. What more will have tonight? Safe skate, the king! Show him this letter. The army of France has landed. Seek out the traitor Gloucester. Hide him instantly. Pluck out his eyes. Leave him to my displeasure. Edward, <laughs> keep you our sister company. The revenges we are bound to take upon your traitor's father not fit for your beholding. Advise the duke where you're going to a most festive preparation. And we are bound to the like. Our posts shall be swift and intelligent betwixt us. 
Farewell, my dear sister. Farewell, Lord of Gloucester. How now, where's the key? My Lord of Gloucester hath been made in hence. Some five or six and thirty of his knights, hot questress after him, met him at gate, who with some, of the, some other of the Lord's dependents are gone with him toward Dover, where they boast to have well-armed friends. Get horses for your mistress. Farewell, sweet lord and sister. Edmund, farewell. Well, we may not pass upon his life without a form of justice. Yet our power shall do a courtesy to our wrath, which men may blame, but cannot control. So who's there? Traitor! The grateful fox is he. Bind fast his courtier! What means your graces? Good, my friends, consider you are my guest. Do me no foul play, friend. Bind him, I say!
deathbed thus and known to be contemned and still contemned and fled to be worse. The lowest and most dejected thing of fortune stands still in estimates, lives not in fear. The lamentable change is at the best. The worst returns to laughter. Lay hold, sire! Lay hold! My good lord! I have been your tenant, and your father's tenant. Oh, good son, you cannot see your way. I had no way, and therefore want no eyes. I stumbled when I saw. How? Now, uh, who, who's that? Oh, God, who, who can say I'm at my worst? I am worse than ere I was. Did pull that, Tom. And worse than maybe yet, the worst is not so long as to say that this is the worst. Yeah. Fellow, where did thou goest? Is it a beggar man? Madder than beggar, too. He has some reason, else he could not beg. In the last night's storm, I such a fellow saw, which made me think a man a worm. Then my son came then into my mind, and yet my mind was scarce friends with him. And I've heard more sense. As flies are to wanton boys, are we to the gods. They kill us for their sport. Bless thee, master. Is that the naked fellow? I am a Pretty get me gone. Yeah, for my sake, thou wilt all take us. Hence a mile or twain in the way towards Dover. Do it for ancient love. And bring some covering for this naked soul, which I'll entreat to leave me. Lance, sir, he is bad. Mm. Tis the time's plague when men men weep the blood. Now do as I bid thee, or rather do thy pleasure. Above the rest, be gone. Now bring in the best peril that I have. Come on, it, what will? Yours in the ranks of death. Oh, the difference of man and man. <laughs> Madam, here comes my lord. I have been worth the whistle. Oh, God, well, you are not worth the dust which the rude wind blows in your face. I fear your disposition. 
No more. The text is foolish. Wisdom and goodness to the vile seem by.